Hey guys, welcome back to the 164 show. My name is Peter. I am your host. And if you are new to this 164 show, uh, we do everything to do with 164 ratio die cast cast. So we did this Hot Wheels Matchbox, Tarmac Works, Inno 64, Green Light, Johnny Lightning, whichever 164 die cast company that I like, and also brands that I come across, and also especially cars that I come across. I would love to review it, unbox it, and show you guys. However, that's not the only thing that we do. We do challenges, interviews, um, guest panels, and also a few customizations as well. So if you're interested in all of that, uh, please do subscribe and give me a like or just comment below and tell me what you would like to see in this channel moving forward. Now, in early 2022, even though right now it's still early, so back in January, I managed to acquire a bulk lot of Hot Wheels and um, uh, I was actually quite fortunate to come across this because it was an ex-collector who stopped collecting almost 10 years ago and he was looking to sell up. So I'm going to take you along the journey and show you guys the interesting cars that he has to offer and also what I was going to acquire that night. Um, it's an ongoing story actually because there is actually more things that he is looking to uh, sell off uh, but I thought Maybe a bit of self-control will be good as well. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you're a big fan of old school Hot Wheels, you will love this content. So without further ado, let's get into it. Hey guys, we just arrived at the location and I wanted to quickly show you guys what is that um, uh, I went to the auction. And like I was saying, there's some really cool stuff here. And I just want to take you on the journey with me as well so let's go cool so we see here the first table so this is the initial lot of what was offered on the, the New Zealand sale the sales page and we're gonna start on the left as well so we're going through quite a lot of stuff so we go from the left column throughout so you can see the green stripes on the side these are all treasure hunts uh, ranging from maybe 2002 I believe about 2002, 2004, right up to 2012, 2013. So you get all that through here, a bit of fantasy cars, and then you move on to, I'll pick an example. So we have, uh, yeah, like the Rockstar would definitely be a fantasy car, but we're coming down as Pontiac, the Firebird, or they call it the Hotbird, but in gold. Um, and then the Dodge Viper, look at them, <laughs> how many gold Dodge Vipers there are. And the orange. Uh, swinging, swinging across as well, something interesting, the 16 Angels, that's one I've been referring to when we did the, uh, the Advent Calendar, there was a 16 Angels from that, so it's really cool to see one uh, outside of the Advent Calendar. And then coming swinging around for all our Mustang fans as well, we get the convertible uh, Mustang, the red one. This is what year is that? So from 2009, so I just want to show you guys, 2009 treasure hunt. Coming down, got a motorbike. I'm not exactly sure what this one we're doing, let's have a look. It's a 37 Ford, swing that around also from, oh this is 08, sweet, and then I was very excited to actually see this one here, the GMC Motorhome. It's been a little hard to get one for myself, but this is great. Um, coming down, we also have some old school designs as well, like a classic Packard. I know there's a few friends of mine who loves Packards on the side. Um, what other things of interest? Look at this one. So this is another thing that I really uh, was looking forward to. It's the Shelby Cobra Daytona Group, and that's from 20. I think this is 2010. 2010 release, and over here we have the Gangster Grin Treasure Hunt, and oh, there's a few Studebakers as well. I think there was a few few um, people in the comments asking about Studebakers. Yep, they're here as well. On the side, the Fire Eater and evil twin and we're just swinging back down as well uh, gangster grand super treasure hunt on the right column we have what do we have there we have uh pontiac gto so i'm sure another close-up and up sweet 
It's a nice color as well. It comes in nice purple. And now on the right side, we look at Chevelle SS, another thing by one of my favorites. And then the Toyota 2000 GT. Ford Falcon on the right and the Corvette Buick Riviera, Riviera and the 67 Camaro with the Summit Library. Another thing really interesting about this one here is that the bonnet opens as well. It's quite rare to see a mainline, even Supers nowadays with the bonnet opening, but that's a, quite a cool uh, casting from 2013. Uh, like I said before, the, the collector who is selling these to me had been collecting and stopped collecting actually from 20 2013, but very dedicated to actually collecting all of the supers. Um, swing that back down. Cool. Alright, and there's more. I've just been going through and talking to the seller and he has been showing me uh, some other stuff that he's looking to sell. And these are everything that I've actually already paid for and ordered, uh, got from him. So we're going to start from the very left here. Uh, if you remember from the holiday, the Christmas period, I did review one of these. Uh, the holiday rocks, but 2006 is another year that I didn't get to review. So we have Bel Airs, uh, and these are quite interesting, the Daytona Superbirds, the Plymouth Superbirds, and all four colors as well, blue, purple, red, and gold. Um, and then I'm going to swing you around here. These are some of the cards that I actually haven't seen before as well. They're Boulevard Cruises, uh, Special Delivery. So I'm sure our American viewers may have seen them. What year is this from? So this one looks like 2000, 2004. So it's quite cool to have one out of uh, 20,000. A little bit dusty, but that's okay. So the blister's kind of faded from UV. Uh, but that's okay, most of them may be open for the show. And then on here we have some other interesting cards as well. Mother Hot Wheels and Freight Cards, I believe he was selling, telling me they're Kmart exclusives. I uh, just wanted to show you guys, 2006. Quite cool, this is a Cadillac Eldorado. And another couple ones here, the California Custom, we have a 911 Turbo in purple. Quite a cool little car as well. That car design and the size is uh, maybe like an A5 car. And then at the bottom we have a Ferrari one as well, that's a really cool one. And the last two I want to show you guys is the Real Riders here, limited edition box set. And this one here is the Challenger, the original 70s 70 Challenger, 06 Challenger concept. And Camaro as well. Look at that, the red and the white stripes. So that's another thing that I'll be looking forward to opening for the channel and show you guys up close. Um, actually, before we actually finish, I want to show you guys the set. Something that I've never seen, but actually really, really cool. Look at that. So I feel like they're very custom work. Uh, look at the body works got custom. I believe they're from this one is from 1999. Before we forget, we've got this rack as well. So apparently, so this was from um, so you guys know I've been mentioning the New Zealand store, the warehouse had these displays and uh, the banner at the, at the bottom. So it'll be perfect to add some of the cool uh, premiums and mainlines onto here and to display them. So really, I think you can store about a few hundred cards on this. It looks pretty sturdy and it'll go right behind uh, in my office and in the main cave there. And yeah, you'll see this more often in the studio. Okay, so just before we actually, you may have seen me packing up the, the cars that we purchased tonight, but I did want to show you guys probably some cars I'll probably be leaving tonight, but I do want to show you some really cool ones that I think has to be in this video. Uh, so I come back in, and so the seller has kindly laid it all out for us. Uh, so I'm going to swing this. Okay, so I don't know where to start again, once again, but let's start from the left. Always start from the left. Um, so. He's telling me he's, these are collections of older Redline Club cars. So if you're uh, going back to the history, Redline Club cars, I'll have to get a proper 
um, year when it started, but so maybe early 2000s, coming down, uh, the, the level of uh, work that they put and craftsmanship in some of these cars are amazing. Look at that, exclusive, online exclusive, red line club cars, and neo classics as well. So there's a few of these. What? Yeah. So 11,000 releases. So nothing like the cars of these days, where it's like 30,000, 25,000. And then we swing around to the real riders here. We have, I want to show you this one. You get this custom Volkswagen, real riders. How many did they make? 11,000 again. Pit Cruiser, it's got a nice custom bike. Swing back around. There's quite a lot of um, uh, the drag buses, which is actually really cool. Uh, the Wheaties and the Penske and the Lucky Charms. Oh, swing back around, there's a history of these ones as well. He was just telling me about a New Zealand convention that's separate to Richard's convention in 2017 and onwards. But this one's from 2007. Yeah, 2007. Where did it held it? Melbourne, Australia. <laughs> and there was some that's held in Auckland. I just want to also go down the drag buses as well. So we're starting on, uh, let's see, there's a treasure hunt drag bus. This one is from... Uh, so I can't immediately tell off the camera. So probably about late 2000s. Yeah, oh no, 2004. Look at the artwork on this one. So it's like an underwater theme. Wheaties, Lucky Charms. Yeah, I'm just showing you a quick um, browse across. These are called, these are extras. So this was from 82. We're just looking at it. And this had the removable roof. Um, what, this, what car is this? I can't tell. What was this? No, I can't tell what car. Tell me in the comments if you know what car that is. Alright, so swinging back around. So this is another more <laughs> old school. I think this is really cool. If ever acquired, if ever I manage to acquire it, then these will never come out of packaging either. Look at that too. Probably early 80s, late 70s cars. Um, swing back around here. Some of the work, I think these are the workhorses, the bulldozer. That's cool, Action Commando, very 80s kind of style. Sorry, a little bit dust at the top, that's okay. Look at the artwork though, very, very 80s. So the neon colors on the side. Sitting back around, look at Lamborghini Quintash. Couple of tanks and uh, military vehicles that, you know, Mattel doesn't do anymore. Don't know if that's, uh, Due to political issues, not sure, maybe demand issue, not many people are into military stuff. Uh, and these box ones as well, I don't know if you guys in the comments know a bit of history on the box stuff. Um, let's see, show you all of them. Purple Passion, Classic Cobra, a Rolls Royce, so this one here. Uh, come back around, 3, Windows 34. It's the first thing that kind of caught my attention. Fat Fender 40, a 40s Woody, 59 Cadillac, and a Street Piece. But these boxes as well, I think Mattel should definitely bring these back. I think they did a few in early 2000s, late 2000s, but this one is definitely really cool. Okay, so that was a quick look at uh, what actually I acquired tonight. Um, like I mentioned before, very exciting collection and a vast majority I would love to open and show you guys uh, throughout the rest of 2022. Okay, cool. So thank you so much for watching that content and coming right to the end. Uh, I hope you guys really enjoyed it. And if you do like content like this and you want to see more diverse 164 ratio diecast cars content, please do subscribe at the bottom. We, as mentioned before, we love to deliver content that you guys want to see uh, and also to see this community grow. So thank you so much guys, much appreciated and hope to see you in the next one. Bye!